Oh, right, it's quite a good place where I'm going then. What a rainy day it's been. Well, today we're ripping out some shrubs. I'm going to screenshot the picture across the screen now so you can see what they were. And then we're going to move half the chuckies across the other side of the garden. Edge it properly with some uh, fence posts, 100 by 100s, joined together and staked in on the right side. And then we're going to turn. So you can see the amount of waste we've dealt with. Okay, so there's about 18 shrubs there, beech tree, a couple of pyrrhuses, azaleas, a few conifers. So we've dug that out now. I'm not going to leave the camera on, it's been raining all day. But the next phase is we're going to move all this gravel, mark out our 5 metre length, move the gravel over, and then we'll come back and see what that looks like. Right, start of day two. So before it actually got rained on, we managed to finish with all the gravel. And then let's take a look at that. So the gravel looks what's here, it's moved off, it's flattened at the back. And I've just pulled the edge in back there, put the two spikes in. We can get a line on there, get our edge in, and then it's going to be digging. So come back in a minute. So that's the next phase complete, which is digging over 52 square metres. That's phase depth. Next thing we're going to do is go over, rake and flatten, to find, get it down to a fine tilth, and then we can see whether, done, whether any uh, extra soil needs to be brought in. Well, main stops there again, but got it levelled and duck walked and onto a tilth. And we can see where we are now. So we can see there's a slight dip at the far corner there, and this side there is slightly low. So we're going to bring in a ton of soil, let the rain do its work, mulch it all, mulch it all down, and we can fill out any dips, make sure it's flat, and get onto the edge. Level off the ground into a fine till, put the edge in. Fence posts, four by fours, and all secured, driven into the ground with stakes, which are then secured with 100mm screws straight into the posts themselves. Level off the gravel, and then we're ready for turfing. Right, that's the turfing job finished. Let's take a look. Managed to clear the path up and gave us a nice edge to work to. And as you can run on the side there, all the turf nicely laid, and then we've secured on the right side, the gravel side, the edge in 100 by 100 fence space. So when you mow, you're not hitting the edges, just like some people do. I'll just speak to the client now, make sure she understands the watering schedule, and that's going to be a beautiful one. 